So in early 2021, the Logitech G Pro X Superlight has taken the gaming community by storm. But does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. Before we start, if you guys are over 13 and you guys want to check out the mouse, it'll be on the link in the description. Just so you guys know, this is a simulated unboxing. This is not how I actually received the package. So if we open it up, you can see that you are greeted with the mouse. A little uh, divider here. And you have a Logitech's motto, play it to win, as you can see. And if we take this out, this little section right here, you can see that you are greeted with the cord right here. Um, and these feet that they give you. And an extra puck with uh, their the mouse feet on it. So inside, if we open this up, we can uh, get a closer look at the mouse feet that they provide, which feel kind of like bat batting grip. If you guys play sports, that's what it feels like. So yeah, it's basically, it has like dimples on it, but it's pretty grippy. I don't know how long it's gonna stay grippy, but for short term use, it will be pretty grippy. And if we look at a closer look, you can see there's a Logitech G sticker and the dongle, which has the USB and the brick. Now, starting off with the specs of this mouse, this mouse offers the Hero 25K sensor. And let me tell you this, it is the best sensor I have ever used. It is super responsive and it can handle fast movements. Also, the sensor can go up to 25,600 DPI, if that matters for you. However, I use 400. If you guys have not noticed already, this sweatshirt that I'm wearing is actually my family's clothing brand, Ninjama Design. You guys should definitely check it out as I put a ton of work into it. And if you guys purchased some, it would mean the world to me. So thank you and back to the video. The plastic of this mouse is really high quality. When your hand it naturally sweats, the whole mouse becomes extremely grippy, which is really nice for stressful situations. The mouse one and two clicks are extremely tactile. There's no pre-travel, which makes it feel extremely nice. The mouse three and four buttons are thin and I would say almost flush with the mouse, so it can be hard to press them occasionally. However, you won't accidentally press them. As you can see, the buttons are extremely flush with the mouse. If I do a side profile, you can see that they don't stand out much. One concern is the mouse one and two buttons do move a little. It's not a big deal. However, it is just a nice thing to know. The mouse wheel is a bit loud and smooth. However, the click is very silent and tactile, which feels really nice and premium quality. One downside of this mouse is it still sadly uses a micro USB-C. It is not a problem, however, it's just a little outdated. The biggest thing in my opinion is this thing has over 70 hours of battery life. That means you can use this thing for three days straight without having to charge it. That is crazy. And finally, there is no RGB. Instead, there is a painted on Logitech G logo. And here's what the mouse sounds like. As you can see, this thing sounds really, really nice for a mouse. Now, here's the biggest thing. Would I recommend this mouse? Pfft, yeah, this thing is an amazing product. One thing I have to tell you though, is this is a really expensive mouse, running from around $150, but it's totally worth it. And that depends what color you get. And here is some gameplay with this. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you the next one. Peace. Now before we continue, please know we just dropped some hot new merch around our new brand, Ninja Ramen Designs. There are a variety of designs that the Kong Boys have been working hard on. We would greatly appreciate it if you took a moment to check it out at ninjaramendesigns.com and hope you find something you love. Thank you so much and back to the video.